guys welcome back to my channel i'm nicole newman and i just feel like playing with some makeup today so filming a tutorial on based on this look so if you're interested keep watching like subscribe i'm brand new to this youtube channel and i'm just really passionate about makeup and i love it and i'm trying not to make this interview too long because i'm sure you guys don't care but yeah if you want to see the video keep watching That moisturizer is really nice, but it is very, very moisturizing and very heavy. So you don't need very much. I only really use it at night. Next, I'm going in with my Kypress Antioxidant Dew Serum. I got this in my BoxyCharm a couple months ago. It's about to be gone. Next, I'm going in with my, if I can find it, it is the 24-7 Retinol Eye Cream with Ruby Crystal Complex by Dr. Brandt. Okay. And I like to take it with my ring finger, just a tiny bit, smaller than a pea, and dab it. I've been using this for about a month now, and I've seen, actually, I've actually seen a difference. Alright, well that's setting, we'll work on my eyebrows next. With the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. I am in the shade 705 Rich Brown. So yeah, I always shape them first with the, with the fine brow pencil, and I just do the front of my brows. Okay, and then next I'm going with the Goof Goof Brow Pencil in shade 5 okay. to fill in my eyebrows. So I leave the front with the light, lighter shade, and then I go in with the rest hair like strokes. Don't mind my eyebrows, they really need to get done. Then I will set it once again with Benefit Gimme Brow, shade five. If you want your brows to stay in place all day, I highly suggest using this Gimme Brow. It's like a brow gel and it's tinted, so it helps you darken them up a little bit. So before, after, before, after. All right, and I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side. Next, I'm going in with my base primer. Now that my moisturizer is all set down. And I'm going in with the Kylie Jenner Illuminating Face Primer. I got this for her holiday 2020 collection and I love it. It's not crazy illuminating, but it's like nice and tacky and it helps keep your makeup on. So I'll give it a thumbs up. If it could be a little more illuminating though, I'd be okay with that. And I hope this made it on the whole face. About two to three pumps. And I'm a little bit weird, but I like to take it down the neck a little bit. Okay, since I'm gonna put foundation there, might as well put primer there. So yeah, well that's sitting down. I'm gonna go in with foundation. Today I'm using the Huda Beauty foundation in shade Sorry. 210B. And for makeup brushes, for foundation, I'm going with my A Cosmetics airbrush, buff, uh, airbrush buffing brush. I think that's what it's called. So yeah, and then I blend it out with a beauty blender. This is from e.l.f. And I actually really would recommend the e.l.f. beauty blender. That one or the Wet n Wild one are both super soft. They get the job done. I've never paid $20 for a real beauty blender. 
everything. So yeah, this foundation is super, super full coverage. Like if you're a full coverage girl like me, you would love it. I even like to do my ears a little bit. Once I powder everything down, it's going to look a lot lighter. Love photo ready basic fix in shade 190 caramel i do need a little bit more of a darker cool tone bronzer but for now for now it's not gonna work Sometimes I'll apply the cream contour before um, foundation, but I mean it really is just like what I'm feeling that day. Um, you can do it either or. I've seen Tati, she does it, Tati, uh, Tati Westbrook, she does it with before her makeup, she does her concealing before her makeup, all that fun stuff. So yeah, so I learned that trick. So yeah, I like to always apply my um, my cream contour a little bit higher than my cheekbone because it will blend down a little bit and you don't want it to look money. And I don't like to cream contour every time, but it does. that's why I pick such a light shade. It just adds a little bit of definition, but nothing too insane because I've seen some people that do it. It's like, I'm a mom with three kids and I'm a waitress, so I can't be looking like I got a, facelift every day and then I have to keep up with appearances you know and it's just too much work I'm just a waitress and a mom give a girl a break okay I'm just kidding anyway so just blend 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 next I'm going with the elf 16 hour camo concealer in the shade 85844 Lay Sand. And I don't like to make those big triangles on my face. I find like it's just too much concealer. And I don't, honestly, I just don't need that much. I just needed to cover a little bit of dark circles that I do have and brighten up the face a little bit. My last video I tried this out for the first time and I couldn't believe the coverage. It was like wow. I can't believe Harley Quinn's out And it lasted me like God, I went to work right after that video and it lasted me until I got off work. I was yeah, like, Whoa, no. I need something that I can't I can't be touching up. Like I'm very busy at my job. God, a new movie so I can't be doing right doing needing concealers that just don't hold or makeup in general, they just don't hold to the day.
This concealer might be a little bit too light for this dark foundation. Oh well. You are an eye booger. It's so gross. Sorry. TMI. I had some eyelash glue on my lash. That's attractive. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, um. So yeah. Next, I'm gonna go in with. Supernova. I also got this in a box of charm. And I have yet to try it, so let's give it a try. Try doing it with my fingers. It doesn't say much. Whoa, there we go. A little bit too colored for me. Too pigmented, I'd say. Not like, not in the way where like it's too like, too much, like too bright. It's just like too much of a pinky purple iridescent color and it just doesn't look that good on my skin tone. Maybe I just put too much on. What? It might be a nice base for my um, highlighter. You can see it on camera just a little bit. What? Just a little bit. Okay. So I'm gonna go in with powder now. Today I'm going in with the Becca Hydrate Set and Refresh Powder. I don't think there are multiple shades. I think there's just a residual. Anyways, mine doesn't say shade on it. Taking my motor powder brush. And I actually think the reviews on this were really bad, but I like it. I literally have that much left in my corner. That's it. I've never finished a setting powder before. Okay. Well, I have very dry under eyes and very dry nose, so I don't bake. I might in a future tutorial just for the hell of it, but I don't bake. It's just too dry on me. It doesn't look good. It just looks really powdery. Yeah, I set the entire face. I try to focus a lot more powder than I would usually put on the rest of my face in my T-zone because I'm a combo, I have combo skin. I didn't say I was dry, but I'm also oily. So when I wear makeup, I tend to get oily and dry in the same areas. I don't know how, but I do. Right on here, pretty right here, forehead, and my chin. Those are my makeup wears. Seems to wear the quickest. Okay. Next I'm going on bronzer. I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Natural Lust Bronzer. I think there's just one tone in this. So pretty. Look at that. Beautiful. Can you see it? Okay. For my brush, I'm going in with the, the Moda Bronzer Brush. I'm just gonna go over everywhere that I applied that contour. Next, I'll take a fan brush and carve out under here because I'm not gonna lie, I have a little bit of a double chin. <laughs> mm. Mm. And this just helps me to disguise that a little bit. Kylie, Batty on the block. 
I can get this open. It's like this. Nice muted pink color. And I'm going to be using my Kylie Cosmetics brush from her holiday 2019 collection. Looks like this. Normal blush brush. Pretty pigmented, so I suggest going in with a light hand. Always tap off before you go in and give it a try. Give some life back to this face. So like I know that foundation was very dark to begin with, but that powder, I think that's what people don't like about it, is it does give you somewhat of like a, a lightness to your face. Like in this case, it helped me out because I did have that foundation that was a little bit too much dark for me, but I can see why people would like that. Next for highlighter, going back into my Kelly Cosmetics Press Illuminating Power in Snow Angel. My favorite highlighter Whoa. to this day. Got a nice little chunk taken out of it. Look at that. Got a nice little hole in there. <laughs> All right, and for my highlighting brush. Okay, so for a highlighting brush, I'm going in with the Morphe. For a highlighting brush, I'm going in with the Morphe M510. Looks like this. Okay, so next we are going in with eyeshadow primer. So I'm gonna be going with the Shadow Insurance by Too Faced. It's not my favorite, but it gets the job done. I believe more in using primers for eyeshadow base than concealer, but that's just my preference. You can use whatever you want. A lot of people just use concealer, so whatever you have, you don't really need to go out and buy it. I like it better. I feel like it holds a lot longer than when I use concealer. Yeah, so this stuff goes a little goes a long way. Like you need a tiny, tiny bit. And I haven't really mastered it yet. Like I wish it didn't come in the squeezy tube because I like where they have like a doe foot. You just apply it and it's like a thin amount. But with this one, I don't know, I haven't really mastered putting it on yet. I think I'm just gonna take an eyeshadow brush a little bit to the back of my hand like that much it does have like a slight color to it but it's not very pigmented that's why i went in with concealer and foundation to hide the veins i have bad veins on my eyes on my eyelids so And then I'm gonna pat it out with the Never gonna get used to having these pale ass lips on camera. Okay. I just wish I could do my lips first, but I never have any idea what I'm gonna do for eyeshadow, so I can't plan that way. Today we're going in with the Mercury Retrograde Palette by Hootie Beauty. Love this palette. Honestly, it's one of my top three palettes, I would say like this. It's gotten much love, much love. Next we're going to set the eyes. I'm going to go in with Momentum. Next I'm going in with Momentum with my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. One of my favorite brushes for blending, for setting. It really is just great and it's very affordable. color looks like a purple, okay, a, a, purple, a blue, a gold neutral. My last tutorial did more of a neutral look, so maybe I should go with more of a purpley tint. I look. So I'm not sure where I'm going with this. Bear with me. Okay. Going in with my Morphe M505. So I'm going to hit into the shade Libra.
I want to build that color oh, up a little bit because the color is so pretty. Oh my gosh. It's honestly not a color I've seen in very many palettes. Like a lot of, you know, there's a lot of shades you can repeat in your other palettes, but yeah, Libra is not one of them. I don't have anything like it in the other palette. Okay, so once you get most of that color off your brush, you're going to take the, either take the same brush, I'm gonna make a gradient, make it soften those edges so we can go in with our next shade. Okay, so next I'm going in with the Morphe M513 brush. I'm going into the shade Promise. That's where I want most of my color deposited. And I do it at a slight angle. Stamp, stamp, stamp. You're gonna have to do this. A couple times you get the color payoff that you're looking for. Stamp, 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 stamp. I'm gonna go on with a halo eye today. Once you get most of that color off, you can start blending the crease a little more. So I'm going to go back into the brush that I used for Karma. I mean, sorry, I'm going to go back into the brush that I used for Libra. Or you can go into this brush, doesn't matter whichever one you prefer. Let's blend those edges. Now you can either stop there and go on. Work in the middle, but I want to deepen it up a little bit more. I'm going to go in with my Essence Smoky Eyes brush. Looks like this. And I'm going to go into the shade Vortex. Dark, dark purple color. More like a dark. Next, I'm going to the shade Vortex. It's a dark plum color. Beautiful. Going back in with my Morphe M513. A little bit more of that Libra color because that color is seeming to get lost a little bit. So I'm going to start blending the edges. Trust the process. Right now it doesn't look so hot or lovely, but it will look beautiful in the end. And like I said, I'm not a makeup artist. I just person that loves makeup. I'm passionate about it. And I'm told by everybody I know that to make a YouTube channel and that they love my makeup. And I put a dye, so it might look a little bit different on you than it does with me. Why'd you buy it? You can never do enough blending, just so you know. Alright, next I'm going in with the shade Ultraviolet. I'm going to use it on my finger. No, stupid powers. Place that right in the center of the hours. Don't worry, your pretty little head, because I will be using glitter. Okay, next I'm going in with the beautiful oh, shade Nebula. It's like a lilac, lavender, pretty pressed glitter. How do you so. see Jaden? <gasps> you got, we're on different teams. So next I'm gonna go in with some uh, eyeliner. No, Cover a liquid gel liner. And I am not good at eyeliner. I'm not even going to hold you guys up. I suck with eyeliner. Especially it's lit like this kind of eyeliner. It has this nice little small precise point to it. And yeah, so let's get started. I'm just going to go on with the really thin line so I can disguise that lash line when I do that. Okay. 
Oh, I'm surprised it's going on over that gl pressed glitter so well. Very surprised. Okay. And I'm going in with Better Than Sex Mascara. This is my favorite mascara of all time, just saying. Then I'm going to go into the lower lash line using the Anastasia brush that comes with all the Anastasia palettes. Going in with this shade. Next, I'm going in with the shade Hot Mess. And for my lower lash line, I'm going in with the CoverGirl Total Tease. It's got a weird, weird wand. Look at that. I've never seen one shape like that. But it's really small and easy to get into this lower lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and put some lashes on and I'm gonna be using the, the Kiss Lashes, my favorite. Not sure, I threw away the box, I'm not sure exactly what the name is. I think they're like lash, lash extensions or something like that. But yeah, I'll be right back. We'll be right back and do lips. When I come back, we will finish off the makeup look, do some lips, setting spray, and yeah. Next lip. I'm going in with the Melted Matte Too Faced in Melted. Melted Matte by Too Faced in the shade Melted Clover. No. So cute! I love the packaging. Don't have any lip liner for the shade, but let's go in like this. Okay, so yeah, I think I got the eye look to come together pretty nicely. Uh, let me look at this um, Last but not least, the setting spray. So I'm gonna go in yeah, with the Kylie Jenner Illuminating Setting Spray. As you can tell, it's cosmetic, so I'm gonna go with it. Um, All right, thank you guys for everything and have a great rest of your day. Comment down below what your favorite product was and I would love to hear back from you guys. Thank you.